So on to Prime Minister number 8. That was Charles Watson Wentworth, the second Marcus of Rockingham, commonly known uh, simply as Lord Rockingham, or the Marcus of Rockingham. Um, Rockingham was uh, in office twice, in a brief period, uh, both brief periods, from July 1765 to July 1766, and again um, almost 16 years later, from March 1782 to July 1782. Uh, but despite that short term in office, he was uh, considered quite an influential figure. Um, not necessarily a great Prime Minister, but nevertheless an influential figure. He was born in South Yorkshire, although the Wikipedia entry doesn't give any specific details about that. Um, the Downing Street website suggests it was near Rotherham. Um, he was born in 1730, and uh, this is an article from his, uh, from his Downing Street entry. The Marcus of Rockingham had become leader of the Whigs at an early age, and led them from his seat in the Lords, succeeding in reducing the corruption that was Walpole's legacy. The wealthy but politically inexperienced Marcus succeeded George Grenville as Prime Minister in 1765. His first term as Prime Minister was short and little praised, yet successful in the face of strong opposition. His government was responsible for the repeal of the controversial Stamp Act in February 1766, inspired by protests in the colonies, against the imposition of duties on all official papers used in them. However, King George III was not impressed and sacked him in favour of William Pitt the Elder. Sixteen years later, Lord Rockingham formed a second administration. He opened peace negotiations with the Americans, championed independence for the Irish Parliament and was beginning a process of political reform when he died suddenly from influenza in 1782 before he could achieve all he wanted. And he was only 52 when he died in Wimbledon, London. Um, so some uh, quotes from Rockingham. Englishmen, whatever the local situation may be, know no obedience to anything but the laws. Uh, some important acts either directly involved with him or during his time. The Declaratory Act of 1766, for securing the dependency of His Majesty's dominions in America upon the Crown and Parliament of Great Britain. The Catholic Relief Act of 1778, Introduced by Sir George Savile to dismantle some of the penal laws aimed at Roman Catholics, enabled them to own land, inherit property, and join the army. The Parliament Crews Act, 1782, disqualified all officers of customs and excise and the post office from voting in parliamentary elections. Clark's Act of 1782, disqualified any person holding a contract or commission for government service from sitting as an MP. Um, some interesting facts about Rockingham. He was passionate about horse racing and breeding. He owned a horse that won the first St. Leger. He commissioned George Stubbs to paint another of his horses, Whistle Jacket. The painting is now in the National Gallery. His nephew and heir, William Wentworth Fitzwilliam, renamed a pottery factory on the estate in his honour. Its ceramics became known as Rockingham Ware. And Edmund Burke, the great writer and philosopher, was his private secretary. Um, Rockingham was probably a very wealthy man, as were a lot of uh, the British peerage at this time. Um, his legacy still lives on, even though he certainly can't be regarded as one of our great Prime Ministers. It has to be said that um, his legacy lives on in numerous places in North America. There is uh, Rockingham, Nova Scotia, Rockingham County, New Hampshire, Rockingham County, North Carolina, Rockingham County, Virginia, Rockingham, Vermont, Rockingham, North Carolina, and Wentworth, North Carolina, all named in his honour. So that's quite something. Um, so that is our eighth Prime Minister, Charles Watson Wentworth, the second Marcus of Rockingham.